Hi everyone, Morgan and Kid Rogue here. We are making fruit leather. I am using a new dehydrator book. I just got this book the other day and it has amazing recipes. It has fruit leather recipes, spices, jerkies, you know, and just how to, how to generally dehydrate everything like cabbage, whatever. So, and it doesn't just do through the dehydrator. It actually talks about the sun drying methods, oven methods. This book is pretty dang cool. I'm gonna put a link down below in the description to where you can go find it yourself too. But I cannot find a recipe that's just strawberry. I'm not gonna do strawberry rhubarb. I don't really have anything else, but it does talk about a bunch of different uh, leathers. Specifically what I'm looking for is gonna be this information. Put it in there and then put it in, um, I'm sorry, not that. This, this information for dehydrators and oven drying, dry at 135 for six to 15 hours, just kind of depends on the moisture content, the puree and, and you know, your dehydrator and all that. Here are, I'm doing um, a whole bag of frozen strawberries. I, I put them in the um, fridge overnight and then I put lemons and then I put honey in it. I like to do the honey. I feel like it makes it a little bit sweeter instead of just doing straight sugar. So we're gonna mix this up until it's all kind of juicy and boil and simmered together. Kind of like making jam, a little bit. I am actually going to freeze these lemon peels and then um, I'm going to be dehydrating them later with orange peels that I have. And then I'm just gonna like grind them up, powder them up and they can be, you know, lemon zest and orange zest. While that simmers, I've prepared all of my dehydrator trays with parchment paper. Um, I like to use the parchment paper instead of the actual like trays that come with it because then I don't have to peel anything off. Literally all I'm going to do is just cut it up and then roll it up and there you go. So yeah, that's much easier this way. All right, I blended it all together and now I'm just evening it out here. If I need to pour more, I will. I like to make sure that I don't get too much. Like this looks like not enough. I'll do just a little bit more. Oh, it's beautiful. Smells, oh, so good. Five in you. Ah, oh, five pound of frozen strawberries filled almost all but one tray. Bye. So there's the all the, the fruit leathers and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start to hack it. The first few are done, they look beautiful look at that there's some thin spots here every once in a while but man oh my gosh they look good they smell good so from here i'm actually just gonna cut them up into pieces roll them up and there you go all right this is four trays worth and i still have four trays left so there'll be a second mason jar that i'm gonna fill but wow this is just stuff full of delicious fruit leather with fruit leather, sky's the limit. You know, you can mix fruit. I'm trying to get back in there. You can mix fruits. You can do, you know, all different kinds of fruits. And really, you know, like I said, the sky's the limit. You just want to make sure that, you know, you get any potential citric acid in there, like lemons, that kind of thing, to keep it from browning. And then the sugars. And I always use honey, but you can use just regular granulated sugar as well. You're always going to be kind of boiling it, generally. And then, um, yeah. I mean, these are not long-term storage things. These are short, these are in your everyday slash short-term layers, but they're gonna be gone, <laughs> okay? Your family is gonna get addicted to these, just like I am. I could probably eat this whole jar in one sitting. Oh, it's just so good. I have four trays still left, like I said, so I'm gonna just finish those up later, but I really wanna encourage you guys to do some fruit leather. It's a great snack to have around the house. Use up fruits, you know, go get frozen fruit. That's all I did. I did one bag of frozen strawberries, a five pound bag, and I did a whole dehydrator full, and it's gonna fill up two uh, mason jar fulls. So good snacks to have around, real healthy, delicious, and super easy. Thank y'all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.